Yo, what's going on, guys? Lewis Ravenflame here, bringing you yet another episode of Minecraft Dragonfire. This is once again, guys, my Patreon only series. So only a few people have access to this series. Myself, friends, and patrons. But before I dive into the ep this episode, I want you guys to check out my new intro that I just made earlier today. So, anyways guys, I'll see you after the intro. Alright guys, so as you can recall from the last episode, I lost everything to lava when I was going after a screaming death egg. All because keep inventory was not on. So guys, I spawned in a new satchel because that was one of the items I had lost. But aside from that, I did not spawn anything else in. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. Also, what did you guys think about my new intro? Leave your comments down below. A bronze coin today, guys. So guys, I hope you're really enjoying this series. I'm putting everything everything I possibly can into it. And that is a screaming death. Right next to my house. No thank you. That's an ace or something else no thank you so guys i lost a lot of iron actually i just remembered i even lost my pickaxes my sword so i've got to go and craft some more gear i even lost the food i had in my inventory. <laughs> so, I've got a lot of work to do to restore my stuff. Like seriously, I have to go back to a wooden to wooden gear, guys. So, that honestly hurts. And not to mention, I I'm going to need to craft a couple dozen more torches, because I even lost all the torches I had.
that's what sucks. But anyways, guys, my lesson is learned. Don't make sure to check the mods you are running before you before you start playing. Because if you die and you're near lava, the chances of you losing everything in your inventory is very, very high. <laughs> I literally lost a screaming death egg to that. Getting night. Damn. So guys, I hope you guys, I honestly hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, please leave a like down below. It shows me support for this channel, for my channel, and all of that. So guys, I'm actually going to go and collect some a boatload of stone. And then, once night falls, I will possibly be, uh, well, going monster hunting. It is on It is on easy guys, so but there's nothing really easy about Dragonfire. Considering it's on easy and I and I died to a screaming death. So yeah, guys. I am hoping I can come across to a another source of iron because if that happens I would be so relieved because I was just shocked about what happened in the last episode that I completely forgot to update the shops. Wow, I dug straight through.
That appears to be a cling nest up there. As you guys can tell, I am very afraid of death now. It's not even funny. But luckily I did turn... I did activate keep inventory, so we should be set in stone. It shouldn't happen again, but if it does, there's a problem with the keep inventory mod. There's like a war going on up here. So guys, what I'll probably do is set a waypoint and go craft a new, or actually, you know what? My mobile crafting bench.
So guys, once upon a time, extre the Extreme Hills biome was my favorite place. I I had found a Night Fury egg in a, an Extreme Hills biome, but then I got shot at by a Bewilderbeast, and the Extreme Hills biome became my least favorite biome in all of Dragonfire. But it's looking fairly quiet. Almost too quiet. There's no Bewilderbeast in sight, guys. It's quite scary. It's very, very frightening. That's a light fury nest up there. What are the odds? What are the odds? As long as I don't... As long as I don't hit them, they shouldn't attack me. But at the same time, looking back at... Uh... Okay, that wasn't scary at all. But looking back at the Screaming Death Nest... That was a nightmare.
But hey guys, I pretty much just uh, restored my uh, iron. Okay, if my game stops l lagging, we can get out of here. <gasps> Excuse me. Thank you, Mr. Zombie, for your money. As you guys can see, I still have my inventory. I completely forgot to drop off the... <laughs> Is that the one that I have already been to? Wait... Is that... That's a golden clang. Okay. Ow. I think this might have been the one I've already been to. to get your guys' hearts racing. I know it sure got mine racing.
Let's see if we can't go and find ourselves. I'm not going to say a desert right now. No, thank you. I'm not ready to go and die. The desert is home to many things. Not just dragons, not just creepers, but other foul creatures. That will ki try to kill you, even if you don't provoke them. Hallelujah! It's time to get down from here. <laughs> this will hurt quite a lot. Because we got to get up there. Over there. Guys, this is about to get very, very, and I do mean very dangerous. I may not come out of this with my life dangerous.
I lost the egg. Oh well. But there's a bright side. There is a bright side. I can collect. Diamonds now. I can also start collecting lava. But it is, but it is very, very unfortunate. Uh, on the last episode, how I died in lava. Very unfortunate. So guys, I am going to begin with a iron pick, so I know I craft it. Craft one. I'm gonna do two buckets. And then let the rest of let the rest of it cook. <clears throat> but holy Jesus. And then I may go back to that screaming death nest and try to collect the diamond diamonds that are there. Cause I may I might be able to make obsidian and then an incubator if I can collect a diamond pick It is a good thing I sort of remember where that nest was. It honestly is. And this time, if I die, I won't lose everything. Like the last time.
part of me didn't want to go back here. But now that I have the opportunity to collect some diamonds, I'm like, screw it. I mean, if I can successfully collect a couple of diamonds, at least I need at least three diamonds for a diamond pick. At which point. I can craft the ink, my first incubator, which would be good for the series. I mainly put the incubators into the uh I mainly put them in to the shops for the ice incubator because that one's more of a pain to get than other incubators. At which point, guys, if I am successful in getting three diamonds today for a diamond pick, <laughs> I, I will be crafting my first incubator. At least I should be crafting my first incubator either later on in this episode or at the very start of the next episode, episode 5. Which means I will be opening my satchel next episode, guys. Episode 5. So guys, what do you guys think I will pull from my satchel? This is the last episode you can comment on that. That's a blue gronkle.
So guys, it's honestly surprising on how I have not run into a single be wildebeest. Though I, to be honest, I am grateful that I haven't because those things are brutal monsters. <sighs> that should never be taken lightly. And I do mean it. Bewilderbeast should never, ever be taken lightly. Okay then. I'm out of here. Oof. Oh, how did I? Oi!
Yup, not as much. <clears throat> Guys, fish, fish, we got our wish. Might as well collect this gold. But guys, we have ourselves a diamond pick. So let's head back. Black Spike. Oh, holy hell, guys. That was some scary stuff. We have four diamonds. And we know where three of them are headed. And so, guys... Let me just go like this. Nope. <sighs> Guys, it's almost time for me. Well, guys, we've got everything we need to go and make a uh, We've almost got everything we need, guys, to make an incubator. And then I've also almost got a full suit of armor. All right, guys. So, 
here's what's going to happen. I am going to go and find that lava source. We're going to make some obsidian. We're going to craft if I can freaking find that lava source. I can say this, guys. Oh. Oh. This episode is, in fact, going to be a slightly over an hour, just because of how it's looking on me locating a frickin' pool, the frickin' pool of lava. Oh, there it is. And then I'll bring the bucket of lava right here. Hopefully that made obsidian. Of course not. Alright guys, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to take the next couple of minutes showing you guys how to make an infinite lava slash water source. So what you guys want to do is make a nine square box type deal. Apparently, infinite lava does not exist, so here's what I'll be doing. I do know infinite water exists.
Yeah, I was afraid of that. So guys, I really hope you, you guys are enjoying watching me it pretty much die. <laughs> I am not kidding you. Because that's pretty much what's going on. Guys, I just need obsidian. That's all I'm trying to get. That is all I am trying to achieve here. And there we have it. This is all the obsidian I should need right here. I hope to God I don't get blown up while I'm doing this. So guys, I hope you are all ready to see me create my first incubator. So here we go, guys. And then... Alright. Alright guys, so episode 4 was a great success, and if you guys enjoyed watching me perish, and all that other fun stuff, and watching me finally achieve... 
My first incubator. If you guys enjoyed all that, leave a like down below. It helps me, it helps show that you guys support me. And if you want to, and if you guys want to, I uh, yeah. I hope I set them to respawn. Cause that was my bank. Yep, there he is. Okay. What the? Can I not look at in my in the shops with in peace? You stupid ass creepers! Stupid ass mobs! I honestly could care less about Rainbow Dragon. What the? Give me my damn coin. <laughs> well, anyways, guys. I know this episode was a bit longer than what, how I, what I normally plan to have it. But I got so held up on trying to get that, that I literally could not hold myself back. But anyways, guys, so I hope you're enjoying this series, and... If you are, please leave a thumbs up to show me you guys are supporting me. And until next time, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified on when I upload these videos. And until next time, guys, peace.